On my left, in the right corner, in many people's eyes, Britain's number one. Ladies and gentlemen, from Lancashire, Marty Jones. Here's the opponents on my right, and in the blue corner, we welcome from Salford, South Lanigan. Here we go for our final bar of the afternoon's program. Marty Jones, we all know from Oldham, of course. The uh, 14 stone 12 man who's hot in line for the, in fact, one of the leading contenders for the mid heavyweight title of the world, which he wants to get off Fit Finley more than anything else. But he takes Not on a heavyweight. He takes on a heavyweight bout this afternoon against a 16 stone man. Both of them in leotards, but the one with the black leotard, the white stripe down the side, is uh, Steve Crusher Lennigan, often known as Studs. 16 stone of him. We've seen him a couple of times on television before, but quite some time ago. Max Ward, the referee in this one. Six, five minute rounds. Two falls, two submissions are on our card to decide this winner. Difficult for any contest to follow about like we've just witnessed. But uh, if it's possible, Marty Jones can do it. Half-hearted body check, and it didn't, wouldn't have really worked. I think he would have gone all the way with it. Marty Jones, just under 15 stone. Dealing with 16 stone here in Lennigan. 4 Nelson Jones. Well, he shouldn't have been... Facing the other way, perfectly legal move. Taking a drop kick in the back. He turns round at his business. I think the referee, Max Board, might have a little more trouble with this one. Again, a black belt, third down, a karate. You better not use any karate moves here. Unlocked, no longer locked. 
Oh, yeah. Less than half an hour now in this first round, and Jones just out for a ground position, side headlock. Double finger into lock. I'll never hold him down like that, too powerful. If he gets up, you'll have to make it quick, because the bell in a couple of seconds. Or less. <laughs> breaking those finger into locks. Not so easy when they get tight and they're all sweaty like that. Now if you go back to your corner, says Max Ward. Steve Lennigan, known as Crusher, on the left there. Not going to frighten Marty Jones, but he might worry a bit. Second lane, round two. Example of the power. Yeah. He surely wasn't allowed to follow that up. No, he's got to leave that go. He tacked his man when he was on the deck. He knows it. Hey, and that's what it looked like that either. <laughs> Sorry. It's a typical Jones trick that knee down on the forehead. Uh, oh, yes. Caught him well. Left foot high, crutch hold, slam, follow down, cross press, and holds the knee to make sure of the fall. And it's Marty Jones one up in just one minute, ten seconds of round two. And round two, referee Ward gets the first ball to Marty Jones. So Marty happier now, but uh, he looked a bit worried about this. Uh, Heavy opponent of his, and the beginning of that round, and then the first two. The first uh, round as well, I mean. Oh, trying for a handshake, doesn't even get that, gets a slap in the step. Second to A, round three. Round three, four to go. Jones, in the blue leotard, and red boots, leading Steve Lennigan by one fold the net. It's using the hair. They just can't learn some of these fellows. They cannot attack a man when he's on his knees. Public warning gets for that. It's not worth it, is it? He's only got two public warnings, and that's a major qualification after that. And another draw. Shoulder height that time. Switch, but Marty Jones ready for it. Over the top forearm. Oh, caught him beautifully there. He let again as he came back. Lennigan looking quite happy, waiting for Jones to get up. And lifting his stomach throw all the way over. Lands him nicely, crawls over to get the cross press. Can he hold? He's got it. There's the equalizer. Round three for Lennigan. And it took him just a little longer. One minute. 16 seconds in the round three. One four inch. And round three, the closing four goes to the Salford wrestler, Stan Lanigan. Lanigan, we haven't seen too much of. He comes from Eccles in Lancashire. He's a black belt third dan. He runs his own association, karate at Eccles. He's been a pro for about uh, three or four years, full time. Incidentally, he runs for Dog and Partridge Pub in Eccles, too, so he's got really a part-time pro still. 
Second way, round four. Round four, three to go, and one fall each. Nelson, no, he grabbed the bottom one. Referee oh, oh, not positive. Highly suspicious, though. Oh, yes. And the Nazi specials there. I mean, the elbow gets him right at the chin. Put his feet down first, and Marty Jones going up the middle rope to get the drop kick. Halfway across the ring or more. Oh, well, they grab Colton Press, and now Scott in real trouble here. As Marty Jones gets a quite easy win after that hiccup in the second round, where, in the third round, where the Medigan got the equalizer.